Welcome all you Panther fans to Panther Gymnasium. We will start off with the National Anthem, Pledge of Allegiance, and a uh, prayer. Alrighty, everyone. Well, here we are for the senior girls game here at Panther Gymnasium. The starting five for the Mountain Pine Red Devils are going to be three sophomores and two freshmen. We got Carly Shaw, Carly Coart, Cheyenne Cardenas, Mimi McIntosh, and Taylor Smith are the starting five for uh, Mountain Pine. So we'll have to see who Magnet Cove starts. Uh, I'm sure Williamson will start. And uh, we may be having some audio difficulties slash technical, dif technical difficulties. Um, we had some, some internet issues here in the gym yesterday.
All right, guys, welcome back. We are experiencing technical difficulties here at Panther Gymnasium. So we will have to see how this goes. And so Mimi McIntosh is going to drive and get the foul there on Williams, and that is Williamson's first personal foul here. Uh, definitely not a player you want in foul trouble here if you're the Panthers. I'll call it like a radio call. All right, and Mimi McIntosh, she's going to go to the line here, shoot a couple. She makes the first one. Here comes the Panthers. Williamson going to bring it across the timeline here, looking for something. She's going to try to get it up the floor herself, going to dish it inside. Ball is tipped there by number uh, 21. That's going to be Carly Coart and the Panthers. Um, looks like if they are not sure who has the possession arrow here, but we'll have to see. And it's going to be Mount Pine to bring it in here. That's number 22. Uh, Cheyenne Cardina is there. She tries to thread it inside. Walls on the defense working on her, and that is going to be uh, number 12, no, excuse me, number 13, Taylor Smith to lay it in. The Panthers on the other end. Looking to push inside McCauley there with the ball. Looking to push inside to a stringer. Got to kick it back out, though, on the defense. Williamson, pull up three, high arcing. And just off the mark there, uh, they do not touch it, and that's going to be Mountain Pine basketball here with 6.17 left to go. Mountain Pine up four. Four nothing here. Panthers apply the press. Full court press looking to get somewhere. They threaded up the floor to Smith as she's working on Stringer once more. And we're going to have a traveling violation there as she tries to to get it uh, out right there, so we will have to see here. Williamson gonna bring it up the floor here. She has brought it up the floor all last season and all this season for the Panthers. She has been the staple of this Panther offense. Trying to get it inside McCauley, cross court pass to McCutcheon, McCutcheon driving, baseline, baseline jumper, no good. That's gonna be number 13 Smith on the rebound. They're gonna push it up the floor. Number 14 goes up and in, what a crafty right handed shot. That is number 14, Carly Shaw, the sophomore. Panthers down here, six early as Williamson brings it up the floor. Going to try to thread the needle. Gets it over. McCauley for three, and no good there, but uh, Williamson comes away with the rebound. Going to drive, going to go up, and shot no good, but Stringer is there right there to stop the bleeding for the Panthers. Panthers draw within four with 520 and counting left to go in this game. They're going to thread it inside to Mimi McIntosh, and she lays it in there. This is a high-tempo game here for the Lady, uh, Lady Panthers and Lady Red Devils. Ella looking to push it up the floor, cross court to Sawyer. Sawyer inside, Stringer up, and we've got a charge call. That is number 13, Taylor Smith, the freshman that drew the charge, and that's what you want to see from a freshman there, being able to take the charge there from Stringer. Inbound it. Panthers, Emily Grace Cook is checked in here for the Panthers. They're going to thread up the full court press. A three ball on the other end, and no good there. Williamson with the rebound. That's number 14, Carly Shaw with the shot attempt. Williamson coming down the floor, looking to go all the way. She's going to step up and in, and what a way to take it coast to coast there for Williamson. They're going to bring it down the floor on the other end. McIntosh going to look to drive all the way, going to kick it in. That's number 13 that's going to go up. The shot no good. Second attempt, good there, and that is Ransom who has just checked in for the Panthers. As Taylor Smith, the freshman, has been making an impact tonight here. She's going to, Williamson on the other end, looking to thread it inside. Grace Cook back out to Williamson, deep three, and just off the mark there, and that's going to be out of bounds, and that's going to be Lady Red Devil basketball with 4.15 left to go in this first quarter. Panthers apply the press once more. Mountain Pine evades it there. That's Cheyenne Cardenas looking to go all the way. And shot no good there. Ransom on the defense. Panthers looking to push. McCutcheon two on two. Back to 
Oh, she tried to thread it back under to Emily Grace Cook. That was McCutcheon there on the pass attempt. And it rolls out of bounds there. And it's going to be number 21, Carly Coart, to inbound the ball here. Panthers have got to tighten this press down. Down six here with 3.55 and counting left to go. Inside, Cardenas up and in there. The sophomore extends the lead for the Mountain Pine Lady Red Devils. Sawyer looking inside to Rantham. Rantham going to kick it back out. The ball is tipped there by McIntosh. She's going to bring it down the floor once more. She's looking to set it up right here. Going to get it over to uh, Coart. And the three is good. And the Lady Red Devils have found something. They are up 11 here at Panther Gymnasium early. And so we will take a quick break here on the Manicope High School East YouTube page. We'll be right back after this timeout at Panther Gymnasium. All right, guys, welcome back. We've got a little bit over three minutes left to go and a steal there by Cardenas. She's going to lay it up and in on the other end, and that is not what you want to see. How is this really Mountain Pine defense affected Magnet Cove, Aiden? Well, well um, looking at it, you got to um, say the Magnet Cove offense is just never has not found a rhythm at all. No, they, they, they really have passed, haven't. They, their passes have been so inconsistent. Straight to the defense most of the time. You wonder if they even saw the defender there. Yeah, and the three ball on the other end and no good there. Emily Grace Cook with the rebound and she is stripped of the ball there. That's number 13, Taylor Smith. Cardenas thought about the three there. She's gonna drive her right side and the lay in is good. And Mountain Pines up 15 and their coach wants to keep the foot on the gas. Sawyer's going to try to feed it inside, and that is going to be off of number 14 there. Kaylee, excuse me, Carly Shaw, the sophomore there for Mountain Pine. This Red Devil, uh, these Red Devils are playing some really physical defense. Yeah, they're going to try to feed it inside, and the ball was too tall there for Niera, and number 14, Carly Shaw, once more, the sophomore is going to bring it out. Going to force it up the court to Mimi. And Mimi McIntosh is going to travel. Panthers have got to find offense here. Only have two, four points with two minutes and counting left to go in this first quarter. Williamson thought about the three. Now McCutcheon will take the three and no good there. And that's going to be Cardenas there on the rebound. Gonna push the ball up the court. Cardenas sets it up here for the Lady Red Devils of Mountain Pine. Inside. Gonna kick it back out. Three ball and good from the quarter. Number 21, Carly Coart, the sophomore. McCutcheon gonna feed it inside to Walls. Walls loses it. And that's going to be another turnover for the Lady Panthers. And we got some subs coming in. It looks like Sawyer and McCullough are going to check in. And it looks like Emily Grace Cook and McCutcheon are going to check out. 
Yeah, the Red Devils have just uh, had such a good defense. They play really physical. And Magnet Cove cannot find much of a defense. They're leaving people wide open, Ex take threes. And yeah. And right another now. three from the same person, same corner. Two, four, two. Like I said, just that is not Carly Coart. She is deadly from that corner. Magnet Cove's just got to start moving faster. Yeah, and that shot is close out. no good there. Williamson gets her own rebound. She's going to go up. No call there. She's going to kick it out. Rantham for three. And no good there. And we got a scuffle for the ball, a jump ball call. And that's going to go uh, Mountain Pines way. And the Panthers down 21 here. Uh, to flip the script from the last junior high game uh, moments ago there when the Panthers were up 21 in that one. Now the senior Panthers are down 21 in this one. Uh, Mimi McIntosh on the other end. Jumper no good. And you can just tell the Lady Red Devils are battling it, um, Aiden. Yes, they really want this win, and they're playing for it. Magnet Cove uh, has just not found a rhythm, not found an offense, not found much no, of a they defense. Haven't. They're just kind of. That's what happens when you come back from break. Yeah, and, and that's what Coach was saying on the last last one is, is that uh, coming back from break is one of the hardest things. Three ball from Sawyer, and that one is no good there. And that's going to be Cardenas on the rebound. Going to push it up the floor to McIntosh, looking to go. Oh, another baseline drive. Going to dish it to McIntosh up. No good there. And McCauley comes out of it. They've got five seconds, four seconds, three seconds of the heave. Oh, oh. And that was almost a, a pass to Rantham there. And that's the end of the first quarter. We'll take a quarter break here. Panthers down 21. Gymnasium. Panthers down 21. Rantham will inbound the ball. Yeah, Panthers have got to find an offense identity here in this second quarter. McCauley going to drive, not going to kick it. Williamson, three, and no good. And you can tell uh, Coach Blevin Boyd wants those uh, hands up as McCauley takes a three there, and that one rattles in and out. The rim has not been the Panthers' friend tonight. They've gotten plenty of offensive rebounds, though. It's going to be another turnover there for the Lady Panthers. It's going to be Cardenas to bring it down the floor here for the Lady uh, Red Devils as that is number 13 lays it in there and that's no uh, the freshman Taylor Smith and we're gonna have a foul call there as McCauley tries to kick the ball out to McCutcheon looks like that's gonna be on number 22 Cheyenne Cardenas the sophomore her first personal foul and the first team foul against uh, Mountain Pines. Active hands right there. And uh, on the inbounds, the Panthers look to inbound it again. And 
quick slot. We have a whistle there on the floor. And Panthers, and there's more offensive rebounds right there. Yeah. Panthers have not had a problem clashing the glass, but man. Their offense has not found any rhythm. And an another three. That one's missed, though. Ella with the steal. She's looking to drive on the other end. Oh! She gets obliterated from the back. Number 13, the freshman, Taylor Smith. <laughs> that was like that one on green there in the first game. And it's going to be Williamson to go to the line. First one falls for Williamson. Williamson makes the first one there. Makes the second one too. Panthers draw within 21 here. And Ma uh, Magnus gonna drive on the other end there with Sawyer and shot no good there. We got a timeout. We'll also take a timeout ourselves here on the Matico Pie Squeeze YouTube page with just under six minutes left to go until half here at Panther Gymnasium. And we are back here after the timeout, and that's going to be a traveling violation there, and the Panthers are going to get possession. Ella Williamson looking to find something here. She's going to drive, going to kick it to McCutcheon, and the ball ends. Panthers looking to find something here, down 21. They've got to have a miracle at this point, not even a half and we're down 21. As they do get the turnover there and Williams is gonna push it up the floor to McCutcheon. McCutcheon looking for something here, gonna go across the court to Sawyer. McCauley gonna drive in the lane, shot off the bottom of the rim there. And she had a lot of pressure on her there. Mimi McIntosh going to bring it up the floor here. Going to get it inside here. Cardenas to pull up jumper and no good there. And an another offensive rebound there. That pull up jumper is going to be by number 14, Carly Shaw. And that's going to be no good. Both teams got plenty of rebounds, I'll say that. Mountain Pines has been really good on their second chance points and getting be able to jump up and tip the ball like that. 
Rantham and McCutcheon will sub out for Cook and Walls. It's going to be Cook to inbound it here. Walls is going to have to come up to get that. Now Williamson is a pull-up shot. No good there. She battles for her own rebound. That's going to be off of Williamson, so it will be uh, Mountain Pine basketball. Williamson going to drive on the other and take it herself up. And no, good. And the rim has not been the friend of the Panthers tonight. Ella with the inbounder. Out to Cook. Cook to Walls. And another bucket for Magnet. Yeah, they've Magnet wanted that one. Needed that one. They've cut the deficit to within 20. Yeah, and that's going to be out right there. And so it will be Panther basketball here with 334. And now counting left to go in this first half. Coach Will calls out the play. And now Mountain Pine's going to inbound it here. McCutcheon will check back in. McCauley will come out. Here comes Williamson up the floor with 315 and counting. Left to go. Inside. Emily Grace Cook comes away with that one. Ella thought about the three, now going to back up. And she takes the even deeper one, and good! Williamson finally gets one to drop from the deep three. Shot no good there, but rebound. McIntosh comes away with it. A three ball, and that one is no good there by Shaw. Panthers got lucky there. They got to close out a little bit faster if they want to make sure that they can come back in this game. Yes. They get it inside to Cardina. She's going to try to drive. And loses the ball there, and Walls comes away with it. Cutchin looking to drive and loses it there. And Mimi McIntosh comes away with it on the other end. A three ball and no good. That's the first big miss there from that corner for Carly Coart. Magnets uh, coming back in this game just a little bit. They're clawing their way out. They have found a little bit of fight left in them. And we've got a foul. They're going to have to have some things and some dominoes fall their way if they want back in this one in the second half. They're going to have to start a push here. They're going to need just a little bit of luck. No, I, I say I need a little bit of coffee and a lot of Jesus. The Panthers are going to need a, a little bit of luck and a lot of buckets to finish this one off, guys. Here, oh, but uh, Mountain Pine comes away with it, and Cardenas on the other end. Shot no good, a tie-up for the ball. we got a jump ball, and that's going to stay Mountain Pine possession here with just a few ticks under two minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Panthers need to make smarter passes. Both teams really need to make smarter passes. Yeah, they have got to but have good ball control here if they want back in this one, Aiden. The Panthers have had a really uh, – that's a travel. But the Panthers have had such uh, bad uh, ball control this game. Yes, so they many have turnovers. got to sure it up. Panthers have had trouble with turnovers all season. Yeah, definitely the senior high girls squad. Wall's going to kick it over. McCutcheon inside to McCauley. McCauley going to kick it back out. Williamson deep three, and that one's good. Williamson two for two 
for the last two. She has shot here. Um, one from each elbow here, and the Panthers have clawed their way back to a 13-point deficit. And a steal by Williamson. And the, finally the foul call there as number 14, Carly Shaw, was uh, getting on her. She stole the ball there. Got four ticks left over a minute left to go in this game, in this first half, excuse me. They're going to inbound it, looking inside. Walls gets it. Walls goes up and in. Niera there. And the Panthers have got to get a stop here in the last 47 seconds and ticking left to go in this first half. They have found the offensive identity. Down 13. Cardina is going to drive. Shot up. No good. And fight for the ball. And that's going to be off. That'll be a jump ball. And that's going to be Panther basketball. The Panthers are finding something now. It looks like number. They won't be able to bring it all back down in this quarter, but all they can hope for is that they can still play good defense and better offense. And that's going to, Coach Will did not like that pass. And, and plays like that, that's what. That's, that's, that's what's the Panthers killed are down. the Panthers this season. They, that's, what the, that's the reason they're down, plays like that. It looks like the, uh, no, a junior, the most experienced on the floor tonight, Hannah Mitchell, number 12, is going to check in for the Lady Red Devils. Yeah, Panther Communications just got to gotta step up. Yes. They've got to not let them score here before half. And an easy bucket there by number 12, Hannah Mitchell, the junior, that just checked in. Panthers got nine seconds to score. They're going to double team. They're going to kick it over. McCauley got to get it inside. Ball at is out of bounds. We got 2.1 seconds left. And so Rantham is going to check in. You wonder if they took, put two bigs in with 2.1 seconds left to try to get a box play here to draw it within 11. They got to get a fast shot off. A three ball and no good. And Coach Will did not like how that last play ended. So we'll see how Panthers come out. They made a surge in the second quarter. So we will have to see here. Panthers down 13 down here at Panther Gymnasium. 16-29 in favor of the Mountain Pine Lady Red Devils. And so we'll take a halftime break here at Panther Gymnasium. We'll be right back with more Panther basketball after this halftime break.
If you're looking for a hidden gem while traveling down Arkansas Highway 51, then Panther Pass Grocery and Gas is your one-stop destination. The Panther Pass is more than just your typical local grocery and gas station. It is also has a full cafe menu with delicious mouth-watering food that will satisfy any type of appetite. The Panther Pass is also a proud supporter of the Manic Cove School District and a community partner with the Manic Cove High School East. The Panther Pass is located at 2214 Highway 51, Magnet Cove, Arkansas. All right, everyone. Well, welcome back to Panther Gymnasium here as we've got the final seconds ticking down of halftime here. and We've got a third quarter. It ought to be an interesting one if the Panthers can can execute like they did in the latter half of that second quarter here. We will have to see how they do. We'll have um, to see how Mountain Pines defense adjusts to the Magnet Co. offense that they've just found. Yeah. will be definitely interesting to see, Aiden. And so we'll see who has possession here early. That last quarter was led by Ella Williamson making some pretty big shots coming up deep. And it's going to be number uh, 21 there, Carly Coart. Can bound the ball here on this end for the Lady Red Devils. Are going to get it inside there and a turnover. Oh, on the other end, Williamson. Oh, I hope she makes the shot up and in there. And the Panthers get the two-pointer to start here. And the Panthers start on a 2-0 run. That's what they have to have. And I really hope Coach Will lit a fire under them in the, at halftime. And they got another turnover. Williamson on the other end. Once. Oh, that one didn't go in. But so, no, you got to get that to fall. We got a high face game here going at Panther Gymnasium. And that is going to be off of. That is going to be off of a Magnet Cove player. So we'll have to see here. Mountain Pine looking. Got McIntosh there. Cardenas over to Coward. Coart shot no good there, and the Panthers come away with it. Panthers on a 2-0 run to start this third quarter. The Panthers have a chance to cut the deficit down to single digits. Yes. For the first a time in this game. Oh, no good there, and that save is no good there by Magnet. And so it's Panthers have got to get another defensive stop here. Defensive stops are going to be like gold in the second half by both teams. Number five, Michaela Smith, uh, another freshman is going to the scores table here for Mountain Pine. Gonna kick it around. Get it mid-court to Cardenas. Gonna kick it over, corner three and good. Number 14, Carly Shaw. Panthers can't cut it down to single digits just yet. Just yet. They have got to have something here. They had those first two points, but yet have found nothing else. Ma McCauley goes up, gets the foul, but shot does not roll in there. McCauley doing really good to draw the foul right there. That was a tough shot to get the foul call. It, it was. It was. But more, but more impressive was the pass. The pass to get that ball in there, that was a thin line. That was a bullet. And so, uh, looks like we are going to have the free throws here for McCauley. Her first one is up and is good there. And that's going to put Magnet on a 3-0 run to start this third quarter. The third quarter could be the magical quarter for the Panthers. They're going to need one here to win this one. 
Second shot is up and good, and that extends the Panthers' lead to 4-0 run. Mountain Pine got to have offense here. Deficit 12 for the Lady Panthers. 2-3 zone here for the Panthers. And that's going to be off of McCutcheon there, so that's going to be a Lady Red Devil basketball here with just under six minutes left to go in the third quarter. Panthers have got to watch Coart. She's over here by herself. Williamson is the closest defender. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, okay, Williamson has found her. So uh, now we got to defend. Number 14 was ever in the corner. She was waving her arms um, going for that ball. Yeah, Walls gets the deflection there. And a good defensive stop here by the Lady Panthers. Inside of McCutcheon. McCutcheon goes up and gets the foul call. Uh, number 13, Taylor Smith, uh, another freshman. Uh, McCutcheon's first shot is up and it's just off the back of the iron. And the lead has been cut down to 11. That extends the 5 0 run. That extends the run to 5 0 right there. Excuse me, there was a three there bait made by Mountain Pine. So that's going to be a 5-3 run to start this third. Pardon me there, I, I missed that shot on this end. Williamson down on the other. Head to the floor, Panthers three ball and ooh. That one was so close there by Sawyers. It just hit it off the side of the iron from the corner. So the Panthers really just need to start driving instead of taking threes because, I mean, they, they play good enough defense to stop them from scoring. Yeah, as they lay it in on the other end, as you say that. Yeah, but every time they just shoot threes, the yeah. Mountain Pine somehow seems to score. Yeah, that's Taylor Smith there with the lay. Williamson drives on the other end there. That was a very pretty layup there by Williamson. Mountain Pine is coming back and back, back and forth between both of these teams. Yeah, as they lay it in on that one end, 7-7 seven, seven is the scoring for this. A three ball, no good, and a quick possession there as McCutcheon takes the three ball. And a three, uh, another lay in there. This third quarter has been very fast paced. Yeah, and we have got a timeout here. Panthers down 15. Uh, they got to keep cutting this deficit, but they have got to get some defensive stops here. We got 419 left to go in the third. Panthers down 15. We'll be right back with more Panther basketball from Panthers Gymnasium. Welcome back to Panther Gymnasium here for the last 419. Excuse me there. Uh, of the third quarter, Panthers have got to find offense here down 15. Panthers looking, McCutcheon going to drive, going to dish it out. Williamson, three ball, and ooh, just off the front of the iron there, but that's going to be off of a magnet player. Magnet needs to... Stop shooting some threes and get layups because every time Magnet shooting threes and missing them, Mountain Pine seems to just somehow get a layup in every single time. Yeah, so we'll have to see how they do that as they drive on the other end a jump ball 
That's going to be Panther basketball, and that's a turnover right there. First stop in a while for the Magna Cove Panthers. They got to have more of those. Here comes the Panthers on the other end. Looking for something. Williamson going to thread it inside. What a feed. Oh, Rantham lost the ball. Just not able to hold on to it. Too strong of a pass there for him. Pushing it around. They're going to try to kick it inside there. And the shot no good. Rantham there with the rebound. Williamson comes away with it. Going to push it up the floor to McCutcheon. McCutcheon loses it. Well, the Panthers, if they keep getting these stops, it's not going to matter if they can't put points up on the board. Yeah, they have got to get some offense going. Their defense is fine, but they need to put up some points. Mountain Pine trying to work something here up 15. Going to kick it inside. Easy lay-in, but no good there by number 15. 14, Carly Shaw. They're going to thread it up the floor, and McCutcheon, oh, but Mimi uh, McIntosh comes away with it, the freshman. Going to push it up the floor. Panthers He's trying to find some defense here. These full court passes are not working for the Panthers. They just keep testing them. Yeah, and that is going to be on Williams in there, number three, and McCauley's going to check out, and Stringer's going to check back in. Shot no up. good there. Stringer comes away with it. Panthers hustling down the floor here. Williamson going to try to take it all the way. Shot no good, but she draws the foul. Panthers need to start getting more fouls. They've got to start drawing fouls. That's number 14, Carly Shaw, one of the starters on this team with her fourth foul. She needs to be careful from here on out. Williamson's first shot is up and is good. The first points after this timeout. Bella they, Williamson has been leading the charge for what the Panthers have had tonight. Yep. Pretty much half their points with all those deep threes. Shot no good there. Trying to feed inside, going to kick it back out to Cardina. Is going to drive, kick it out to McIntosh, looking for something here. Shot no good, and it rolled off Ella's foot there. She tried to go get the rebound, and that's going to give Mountain Pine another possession. And that's going to lay it in for the Panthers there as they extend the, the lead to. And they cut the lead down to 12. Yes, that gives the Panthers a 3 0 run after the ca coach will time out. And then there they go, Panther defense. They just need to get a point. A heave! And that's the first one that's worked all game. Yes, and Sawyer's going to go up and doesn't get the foul call, but Rantham fortunately comes away with it. Going to kick it out. Emily Grace Cook going to drive. There's Nobody's no there. But Williamson, oh, a foul, and Williamson fell on a basketball. That's Cardenas right there. That's her third personal foul for the Mountain Pine Red Devils. Rantham will be the inbounder. And the Panthers cut the lead down yeah. to 10. Yes, that right there is... That's major for the Panthers, but and Mountain Pine scores right up. there. And Mountain Pine wants a timeout here as the Panthers, uh, before that Mountain Pine timeout, were on a 5-2 to two run. So we will have to see. We'll take a quick timeout break here with Mountain Pine and Magnet. 
So we will add, we'll be right back with more Panther basketball on, Pan on the Manico High School East YouTube page. All right, welcome back to Panther Gymnasium. Williamson brings the ball down the floor here with the, just over a minute left to go. Panthers have cut the deficit. Panthers down 12, going to kick it out. Mountain Pond wanted a walk right there. Emily Grace Cook's going to drive. She's going to find the basket, and then she gets the foul call. She's going up. And uh, one more foul there, and that's going to, if uh, Mountain Pine commits one more foul, that's going to uh, put Matt Cove in the bonus there. Uh, Emily Grace's Cook's first shot is no good, and it looks like Stringer's going to check out, and McCauley's going to check in here for the Panthers. We need to hit this free throw. Second one is up and no good there, but McCauley fights for the rebound and couldn't come away with it. McIntosh on the other end, driving on Rantham. Gonna set it back up. Got a 10 second difference between shot clock and play clock. Panthers needed those two free throws. Cardenas gonna drive, shot good there and that extends the lead. Panthers have 25 seconds so Shot clock inactive at this point. Sorry gonna drive up and in, Izzy. Whoa. Oh, and that's going to be a three-point play here for Sawyer. If she can make the free throw. And that, now they're in the bonus. Yeah. That's I initially thought he called a charge. That's my bad, guys. Uh, but uh, Izzy converts the three-point play right there. Now and Panthers have a death as of 11. Here comes Mountain Pine. They got 15 seconds left, looking to take the last shot here in the third quarter. A strong defense. Cardenas goes up and in, and she has been deadly on that inside. Down 13. Williamson looking to get something. Oh, and the feed was just a little second too late there. But uh, it's the start of the fourth quarter here at Panther Gymnasium. Panthers have got to find something here in the last eight minutes. They are down. Uh, 13 points here in the start of the th fourth quarter. So we'll take a quick quarter break here with the teams at Panther Gymnasium. All right, guys. Well, welcome back. Hopefully, we have, Panthers got a good fourth quarter intel here as Mountain Pine starts with the ball here. Up 13, going to thread it inside. Uh, Cardenas thought about the three, and, and now the shot up and good there from number five, the freshman, Michaela Smith. Panthers looking up the floor here. Sawyer inside to Rantham. Rantham up, gets the foul call, but can't get the shot to go. And 
And the Mountain Pine coach makes it very relevant. He wants his team to stop fouling. He had the whole wingspan out and everything and said, stop fouling them. And so Rantham's first shot is up and no good. Panthers down 15, they need some points. Second shot is up and no good there. That's McIntosh with the rebound. And it's still there. Gonna, oh, gonna throw it up the floor. McCutcheon uh, to Williamson. She got to a on her and the shot lays it in there. That draws the deficit to 13 for the Panthers. The Panthers have been at a deficit of 13 since the entire second quarter, almost. The entire second half so far, they've been down 13 for most of it. Yeah, they've got to get a stop here. Got to cut the deficit if you want to win this game. Going to drive up and shot no good there. And Williamson comes away with the rebound. And I'll just say that Mountain Pine coach likes to spread his arms when he coaches in Rantham. Oh, she hits the bottom of the backboard there, but the Panthers get it and reset the offense. Oh, and that's going to be off of McCutcheon. And uh, it's a high ball there and unable to contain it there, and that's going to be Mountain Pine basketball. And I'm unsure at the moment what the Mountain Pine coach is so upset about. His team is up 13. But obviously you still want your team to play well even if you're up. A three ball and no good there. Rebound by Rantham. Nier was not expecting the ball right there. She's able to dish it to Williamson. Inside to Rantham, Rantham, hook shot, and good. What a beautiful lay in there by Rantham there to draw the deficit to 11. Panthers got to keep it close right here. 11 is about as far as I want it to get. They just cannot let uh, Mountain Pine score at all. Don't foul. Don't foul, McCauley. Oh, yes. and a steal by McCutcheon. She's going to go up the sideline. It's 2v2 on the other end. Up and in. And that is a single-digit deficit. And that the first is, time this game for the Panthers. Yes, the Panthers have got to cut it here. And now Mountain Pine pushing the ball fast. They want a fast-paced game now. Oh, Williamson almost had the steal. She's She was wide open in the corner. And the shot no good there. Rantham comes away with it. Look up. But Williamson comes away with it right there, like I said. And here Marley. comes the Panthers. Marley was all the way down the court. Colley thought about the three ball, going to get it across to McCutcheon to Rantham. Rantham for three. And just off the mark there. But Williamson comes away. We're going to go up. Shot no good. But Niera goes up and get it. And the Panthers have drawn it within six. Excuse Seven. me. Seven. Seven. Excuse me there. Seven-point deficit here with 4.45 and counting left to go in this game. This one could get intense. I think it's time I stop calling from this chair. I'm on my feet here in the booth. We've got a deficit of seven here for the Lady Panthers. Cross the court, and the ball is taken. Oh, timeout, and that timeout will give the Panthers possession. 30-second timeout, so we're going to stay here at – Panther Gymnasium. What do you think about this comeback, Aiden? It's starting uh, to rumble here at the Cove. Magnus been doing this all year. They've had a lot of turnovers in the first half, but then some games have been able to come back, some games they haven't. This one, they might come back. Yeah, it, they got a deficit of seven right here. It would be really clutch if we could get a three or something um, at this next possession. So we will have to see who can do what. This is what separates the good teams from the great teams. If you got a and Magnus in the bonus, so that could play a factor on the fouling. If Mountain Pine somehow drops this, I won't point this game. They were up over 20 points. Yes. So dropping that dropping that lead has been a big thing for Magnus. Even if Magnus doesn't win this game, they doesn't come back from down 20. Yeah, and I mean, if you're Coach Will, you want to get, win this game. This is a major conference game. Williamson being trapped. 
Across the court, McCutcheon thought about the three, now going to kick to Williamson. Inside to Stringer. The air goes up and in. And that draws the deficit to five. It's a two-possession game. And really, if it's two threes, you could take the lead here in two possessions. 4 8 and counting left to go in this game. Panthers down five. Looking inside, now going to kick it out. Three ball and good. And that is what has separated Mountain Pine from Magnet all night. Panthers pushing it up the floor, need a three ball themselves. They're going to kick it to Rantham. Inside the walls, Niera up and in. And the Panthers have got to do that, but they have got to get defensive stops. Niera's come alive here in this fourth quarter. Yes, down six. Panthers looking for something on defense. Walls down in the paint. Shot up and no good, and that's what the Panthers have to have is defensive stops here in the last 3.30 left to go in the game. Williamson trying to slow it down a little bit. Only down six. This is a manageable deficit for the Panthers. Going to kick it over. McCauley for three. The ball is tipped. Wall gets it up and in. And the Panthers have drawn it within four. What a game is brewing here in the Cove. Cardenas looking to drive. And she, we got a foul on the floor. Who that call that one on? It's going to be on Williamson. That, oh, my taters. That's her fourth personal. No, no, and no. Williamson has four personals and is still on the floor. She has got to be careful. They get it in. Thought about the three. Magnet has got to be careful on defense not to foul. Oh, and a foul. Is that one going to be on Niera? Is that going to be an offensive foul? Oh, they're going to call that on Niera. And that is going to be um, lots of contact between the two, but the call favors the Mountain Pine Lady Red Devils, and McCauley's going to check in, and Walls is going to check out. We're just under 250 here. And, and they're going to call that out on Williamson, so it's going to be Mountain Pine basketball. Get it in. And it's stolen by Sawyer. Is he looking to push the floor here? Going to get it with the Williamson. Rantham was calling for the ball down low. They're going to get it to her. She's going to go. She thought about going up on... Uh, McIntosh, McCutcheon for three, no good there, but Williamson comes away with she, Williamson's gonna go up and in! Down and the by Panthers two! Have One drawn the deficit game. with 2.20 left to go in this game. Ella this would Williamson be a miraculous a comeback. Ella Williams has lit a fire under all of them tonight. I'd say Coach Will, father-son duo has lit the bonfire under the Panthers. Father-daughter duo, I'm sorry. Ella, I'm sorry, I really am. His brain is rattled from this crazy game we got going on here. I'm sure I'm going to hear about that one Monday at school. <laughs> My apologies. It's what just came out. I am sorry. But we have got a timeout. Panthers down five as Wall is going to check in during this timeout. What about this comeback, Aiden? Uh, it's been a really miraculous comeback. Down by four with 2.06 left. You wonder if... Oh, down by five, my bad. Yeah. Down by five, you wonder if Magnet can make a quick comeback, just chisel and chisel out this lead. Yeah, it, it ought to be interesting. 2.06 left to go in this game. It ought to be an interesting last two minutes. Just hope the Panthers can uh, keep the close, fire they've had all. Close this now. deficit. I, I, it's still a deficit, okay? I don't care if it's one point or 30 points. It's still a deficit. So we'll have to see. Marlon McCutcheon is going to be the inbounder. And they're going to roll the ball so they don't waste any time. Get up the floor to McCutcheon. Inside to McCauley, wide open. 
Oh, I had to kick it back out. McCutcheon for three. And oh, just off the mark, but Sar comes away with it. Gonna drive, gonna put it up and good. What, what a, a hook shot. What a shot from Sawyer right there to bring it within three. I don't want to put the curse on it yet, but this looks like it could go into overtime. Three point game here. Cardenas thought about the three, gonna kick it across the McIntosh. McIntosh up and in to extend the lead to five. Panthers have got to have a defensive stop. They got a score here first though. Double team on Williamson. Gonna kick it out, McCutcheon. To Sawyer, Sawyer for three. And oh, that almost Just went in. Out. Wall. Wall shot, no good. And the opportunities are slipping out of the Panthers' hands. Gonna drop in a foul. The foul is called there. On the air, a blocking foul. That's gonna be number three for her. And that's gonna put the Lady Red Devils at the line. Shot good and that extends the lead to six. Panthers need um, some points, we'll just say that. She made both of them there, extends the lead for seven. And Williams, a deep three. And good! In a timeout, the lead is now four. Four. Oh, wow. That, like, was from, like, NBA times college times WNBA times G League range right there. That was from, like, like. That was from that Little Rock, Arkadelphia, whatever you want to call it. That was from deep. Deep. Dude. She hit some deep threes tonight, but that one was, was deep. out there. Basically a logo. Yeah, almost. Wow, but 58.6 seconds left. It's about 30 feet. <laughs> yeah, that was, I, I couldn't hit that in my dreams. I could tr uh, play for 30 years and not hit that. Uh, there's a reason I call the games and not play the games. So, I'll leave that deep three up to Ella, not me. So, yeah, we got 58.6 left to go in this. And what do the Panthers have to do here, Aiden, to close this gap? And uh, play defense win it or go to keep overtime. their offense going. They had a good offense going. They should put up their defense. It's one or the other for them right now. They need to have both. Yeah, they have got to have a defensive stop here. Uh, and it looks like we're going to have – they're not going to apply press, okay? So here comes Mountain Pine. The shot clock could help the Panthers in this scenario. And the shot, no good there. Everybody in Magnet Cove in Egypt wanted a walk, didn't get the call. So now the Panthers have got to find something here. We got McIntosh on Williamson. She has to score before 35. And now the shot clock will not be in play next position. And well, walls up and in to put it within two. And, and we've got no a timeout. Shot the shot clock, oh no, this is not good, boys. Panthers needed a quicker score than that, but they didn't get it. They are going to have to... They're going to have to get a foul? steal. They're going to have to get a steal. I would have to say foul, right? They're, they're going to have to either get a quick. They're going to have to steal. They're going to. They're going to probably press here, though. They will apply a press. I would be curious to see. With Coach Will calling that timeout, I almost want to say they're going to switch to a full court press here and try to get a steal. They did it in a game. What game was that? A Bigelow. They did it in the Bigelow game. To send the game to overtime, they applied a full court press and was able to get the basket there. I remember that when I was calling that one here at Panther Gymnasium. But we'll have to see. And so, let's see. It looks like they are going to, well, we'll have to see what they come out in. I I would have to guess press, Aiden. What do you think? I wouldn't doubt if the Panthers press real quick here. Yeah, and it looks they like should. they're going to. Yeah, Rantham's going to be at the half court line as the safety, basically. Oh, we got a man-to-man -man press. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a very big vibe change from what the entire game has gone. See if you can't get a five-second call. They are just threading the defense. Oh! It, a foul? No. 25 seconds left, and that will be on Marley. That's our first foul of the night. And Emily Grace Cook is going to check in, and here comes McCauley. I don't really see where the foul was there, but... That's not ours to judge. We're the commentators, not the refs, unfortunately, Aiden. 
Oh! And that may have just, and that lost the Panthers the game right there. So why That was like layup. the Philly special of basketball, dude. They just handed it off and it was gone. Four points in 21.9 seconds. That's just really confused the defense on that play. Yeah, we're either going to have to have a, a three and a foul or a miracle. And the three and the foul is more. But you wonder, does Mountain Pine give up the three? Does that make sense? I think the Panthers may have just lost this game. That looks like it, but. I don't want to say that right now. I don't I'm want to fan, either. But, man. That that miscommunication there on defense kind of just sealed the deal there. Panthers gonna need a miracle in 21 seconds. 21.9. I seen, I, I seen some I, crazy I've seen things, crazier happen things, things dude. I've seen some crazier things happen in the last. <laughs> Games are won and lost right here. Most definitely, Aiden. All right, Panthers got the basketball on the baseline here. Sawyer's going to inbound it to Rantham. Rantham pushing it up the floor. McCutcheon's got to take a shot. Gonna they have dish. to get a three. And they have got fast. to shoot inside the walls. Walls up and lays it in. They've got to get a press. Last they got nine running. seconds left. Oh! When Rantham goes up, oh! and in, and in. Oh, my taters, we're going to oh, again. This is insanity. They didn't get the foul call. What a uh, miracle. They're in what nine a seconds. Miracle. It's not the miracle on Markham anymore. It's the miracle in Magnet. Down 23, and now we're going to overtime here at Panther Gymnasium. She's done that twice this season. I didn't even know what to say because there was like the stadium erupted. I have never seen so many people get up so fast in my entire life. But we have to look. Williamson has one foul left. She has four personals. She's got to be careful what she's doing. Oh, my gosh. Down 23 at one point in this game. And now we're going to overtime. I got to take a drink. So uh, I ain't got time for that. Commentate the game. I got to take a drink. <coughs> All right. Well, four minutes with overtime. Maybe these Lady Panthers can pull off a miracle again. That was a heave by Williamson. There was. Well, Williamson didn't. Rantham made it. I, was I don't know who made it. There were so many it. bodies down there, dude. Well, Williamson shot it twice, and then Rantham finally got the rebound and went up with it. Oh. It just barely went in. Oh. Three seconds left, and it's. Right. We got four minutes to go in the girls' game. We still got a senior boys' game to go. And Magner will win the tip. Can they get their first lead of the entire game? Oh! They almost didn't have the ball very long. Cut by Rantham. Rantham up! And, oh, no good. Walls there. No good. Come on, guys. Make the paint shots. Those are shots you have to have here in the overtime like this. I really thought Magnet had lost that game when they gave up the bucket to Cardenas. Another handoff. Yeah. So almost Thinking lost about the, the three. The Dishing it around. Looking for somebody. And that'll be a travel with 11 seconds left from the shot clock. Good. Shot clock will reset, though, with new possession here. 3.20 left to go in first overtime. Panthers looking for something. Sawyer inside to Rantham. Rantham going to kick it back out. Williams in for three. And no good there. Williamson gets her own rebound. Going to drive. Shot no good. She doesn't get the foul call, but she will get possession here with 3.02 left to go in the overtime period. Williamson the inbounds man on the baseline. 
get it in, and that's going to be off of a Mountain Pine Red Devil. Get it into Walls. Walls up and in, and the Panthers take the lead. For the first time in this game. With 2.50 and counting left to go in overtime. Mountain Pine goes up and ties it back up. And the coach is barred up. He's got a red shirt on. I can bet you his face is red as his shirt right now. He is fired up down there. Both coaches probably are. Inside the walls, kick it out. Sawyer for three. And boom, 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 almost went in. It just rolls around. You hate those unlucky bounces. Yeah. Cardenas going to drive on the other. And the ball stripped. Red right them the there. Strip. Panthers looking to drive on the other end. Williamson going to back it out here at the elbow. Going to get across the McCutcheon. Back to Williamson. Tarantham. Thought about the three. Now going to heave it across the court. And almost hit Coach Will with it. Pass was intended there for McCutcheon there. And game's tied up here. Knotted up at 60 with 207 left to go. Hardinez going to bring it down the floor. Finds McIntosh. And the ball is... Stolen. The Panthers come away with it. Here comes the Panthers. Tied up. 151 left to go in this game. Going to get it over to inside the walls. Walls doing the work down low and lays it in. Panthers, the Panthers are up two with a minute 38. Mountain Pine wanted a charge call down there. Didn't get it. Now Panthers looking to find a defensive stop. She's wide open. She should have taken the three. Inside. And the shot is no good, yeah, she, but they get the foul call on the shot. And that foul will be on Niera. Oh, and that puts and him in the bonus. Niera has four. This is not good, guys. Williamson and Walls are both playing with four fouls. Five straight fouls here on Magnet. And the shot is good. Down by one. With a minute 26. Second shot is up and is good. The game tied with a minute 26 left to go. It's about three shot clock possessions. Cardenas there on Williamson. It's been a very physical game on both sides. Inside the walls, walls up. And Mountain That Pine. is the era's fifth foul. And the she air did. is gone. And we uh And the mountain pot side is erupting, erupting with that one. So now it's next man up mentality. McCauley has to check in. And And Coach Will is very agitated at the moment. And Unsure what just happened. We got people lining up for free throws. Well, they're in the bonus, and there was a foul. They get free but throws instantly. The, the basketball's on the other end with the other ref. Um, we've got what I call a referee round table here by the logo. So, if it's a charge, okay, that's why I was confused. Okay. All right, it's all separate out. Mount Pine possession here as they bring it across the timeline. Niera is fouled out. She's, she's come alive here in overtime in the fourth quarter. They're going to miss next her. next man up. You hear that all the way through Pee Wee to high school. And a, oh, another foul call on the floor. And Who's that one on? Rantham. Okay, that's her first. We're okay. We're okay. So... Game's tied up, 56.3 left. Walls is fouled out. First shot is up and is good there. Panthers down by one right now with 56.3 left. Second shot is up and is good. Panthers. Coach Will needs to be very careful. Down He'll get himself a tech. Four. Yeah, it, it, he does get pretty feisty, definitely an overtime game. 
Williams looking to drop, up, and in! Tie game! With 47 seconds left to go, Williams and lays it in! William pressing. Cardenas looking to drive the ball. Travel! And she travels! And she travels! With 39.8, that means there will still be a shot clock. There's a 37, a four and a half second differential. Magnus be very secure with the ball. We have got to have a bucket here if you're the Panthers. Any points work. I don't. Timeout, Coach Will. 29 Man. seconds to 25, 25 on the shot I, clock. I, I told Coach Will after that state title run last year, I said, you're going to have to stop giving me heart attacks. I guess he didn't listen. Because, Jiminy, Christmas, I'm over here about to have a stroke. I, I still got one more game left to go. My that heart's going to be just My as heart's pumping out of my chest. Man. I know, dude. It's crazy. I can see it through my shirt. Oh. Man, down 23, and now we're tied in overtime with 29 seconds. There is a 4.3 second differential between shot clock and play clock, okay? That shot clock and game clock. Get, what did I say, play clock? Yeah. I watch way too much football. Oh, Football is what got me into this. Shot clock and play clock, it's the same thing just in two different sports. Well, I guess we just watch too many sports, Aiden. Too many different sports to keep track hey, of. Hey, TCU for the national championship. That's all I'm going to say about football on here. But we've I got, want TCU to win, but I know. we all know jo that. Man, Georgia's a good team, dude. But, hey, we can talk about that pregame of the next game. But we got 29.3 seconds left of this one to commentate. Man, oh. Oh. All right, so Ellis Panthers. talking to our team. Yeah, hold on to your recliners, ladies and gentlemen. I would even recommend if you got the feet up, put them down because you're about to erupt. The Panthers have got to get this done here. Well, I know everyone's on the edge of their seats right now. This place is ready to erupt. Everyone in the stadium's on the edge of their seats. Ella is running around. She is looking for a foul. She has got to find something. Five got seconds. And a shot clock violation. 4.1. Mountain Pine calls a timeout. We'll take a quick timeout too. I got to drink some more diet, uh, uh, excuse me, Dr. Pepper or cream soda. Not a sponsor yet. And we'll be right <laughs> back with more Panther basketball after this break. All righty, everyone. Well, we got 4.1 seconds of the first overtime left. Don't know how many more we have after this because we're still knotted up after that shot clock violation there by the Panthers. Full court press. Oh, 4.1 is not a lot of time to get the ball down the court or get a steal and make a bucket. They get it in. And they called a foul. Whoa, they called a shove? And that very well could be the icing on the cake and Coach Will is not having it. Personally, I wouldn't be having it either. Two, two point shots. Two. Wow. First shot is up and is no good. The Panthers still have life. And this gym has got to get rowdy right here. And Coach Will is not having it. We got a timeout. This uh, it's like ice in the kicker. Hey, if. Oh. This reminds me of a pl something uh, happened last year with Evan Ashcraft. Oh, no, 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 man. He had to make at least one to win the game. I, I was, yeah, it was on that other end because I remember calling it. Oh, man. But it, if she misses, it's 2.2 seconds enough. 
No, I that, don't think so. That's what I don't think so I either. I mean, you have to get all the way down the court. It's going to have to be a heave from that gum near Egypt. You're going to – what? the only way they can do it – okay, well, if they weren't going to press, which they are, oh, the only possible is. way is to roll the ball down the court no one touch it. Yeah, but you and know if they it. roll it, Mountain Pines is going to roll well, that's the play whole on it. Well, that's, that's why they're, they're going to press, so they don't do that. So they don't run the clock – because the clock's not going to run if no one touches the ball. All right. Here we go. She needs one shot to end the game. Are we going to overtime again? Probably. The senior boys went into double overtime against Jacksonville Lighthouse last Tuesday, so it could be a repeat of that. They called that foul on Izzy Sawyer. The second one is up and is no, no good. good! And we're going to double overtime. You know she is Whoa. not happy about that miss. Whoa. Whoa. Aiden, what would you think when we were down? Six quarters. I, I don't think I've ever seen that on that. I don't. I didn't even know it worked. I didn't even know it went to six, I'm going to be honest. I know. I wonder what it actually goes. Probably nine. Because well, it's, it's, it's only a single digit. It's only a single digit number. Yeah. Oh, man. Down 23 at one point now. In double overtime. Pretty much five quarters. Oh, man. Panthers tied up at 64. They have got to take control. Have got to, Aiden. This game has just been back and forth both ends the entire way. Um, I would say Mountain Pond had a slight advantage early. J just a slight one. But Magnet Only fought up back. by like 20, and they now it's a, a tie game. They lit a fire in themselves that I haven't seen in a long time. Oh, Jiminy, Christmas. About to have a stroke over here. I might. And that is the first free throws that 13 has missed all night. Man, you talk about pressure. All right, well, here we go again. It's double overtime, and the Panthers regain possession. They got possession like this last time, too. Aiden, don't say that. And if Pan we go into another overtime game, oh, I will have a stroke. Yeah. Williams in deep three. Again. No that good. Macaulay comes away with it. Reset it. That resets the shot clock. Chill out, Panthers. Chill out. That'd be a slogan. <laughs> Chill out, Panthers. Chill out. That's Logan. That's a new one. Sawyer, corner three. No good. McCauley on the rebound. Goes up. Doesn't get the foul call. Come and on. Slow Panthers it down, Panthers. Don't. That's a and, travel. Yeah. And they're going to call it. They called the travel there. And Coach Will is letting the referee Chill out, Panthers. know Come it. Come on. Chill, Chill out, out Panthers. All right. 316 and counting left to go. In double overtime. Sawyer calling for the ball down low. McCauley corner three, no that good. One. Stop taking threes, Jiminy Christmas. Here's McIntosh on the other end. Feed Come it on. inside. Shot up, no good. No team and can make anything. <laughs> it's like double Those rims are like two inches wide right now. I know. <laughs> I guess. They're bouncing all around the lid and then Got some plastic crap up in there. Sawyer's wide open to the corner. She should have taken a shot there. She's wide She's open. already missed one three in double overtime. Rantham wants a three. And that, that one goes go! in! 67 to Rantham with the three it's from too early the to call corner. It. Too early to call it now. She only shoots threes when they need them. She's done this before. She'll do it again. And you can tell the Panthers have locked in. And a turnover! A turnover! Panthers get possession. Slow it down. They have got to chill out. 30 seconds of counting left on the shot clock. Couple ticks over, two minutes left to go in double overtime. Turn on the AC, come on. Oh, chill out. Rantham thought about the three, not gonna drive baseline, not gonna kick it across. Oh, Williamson Those looking passes like, like that have been scary Stephon all night. Diggs out there, dude. Gets it over to Sawyer. Sawyer, not going to drive. 
pull up shot, no good. Minute 39 and counting left to go in double overtime. And the shot is good, but only a two, so that three has been big. One point lead with 125 and counting left to go in, go in double overtime, excuse me there. Inside to Ratham. No, watch you kick it, three ball, Williamson. No good. Scoble for the ball, McCutcheon comes out of there. That recess the play, shot clock, excuse me. Oh. And that's a foul. foul. And the and that Mountain is Pine on ref Cardenas. is not happy. Excuse he me, thinks Mountain Pine coach. And he is agitated, let me tell you, son. Neither ref can sit, neither coach can sit down and, right now. And, uh, oh. He was about to hit the chair. And Williamson goes to the line, first is up and good. Up two now. Oh, he hooks the chair. <laughs> I have never seen a player, I mean a coach demonstrate a foul on a, on chair. a chair. I've seen him demonstrate a foul on a Oh, to the ref, but man, Jiminy. never a chair. <laughs> oh, the shot's no good, and Williamson gets her own rebound. I start saying like Rex Nelson right there. She just pulled a Shaquille O'Neal right there yeah. to throw it off the rim. The ball is tipped. And that one's a steal. 52 seconds. And out. a steal by the Let's Panthers. Go. A steal by the Panthers. Oh, my goodness. This is getting insane. Help. Marlon McCutcheon's there for the help. My blood pressure's at 120. <laughs> Mine's probably more than that right now. Oh, it's him. Cardenas has got it. She's going to lay it in the tie of the no game. No shot clock. 26.3 left. 68-68. Man. We just wanted y'all to chill out. What Turn on we, the AC in here. What did we bargain for when we signed up for this, Aiden? I, I thought it was going to be fun. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is fun. But when I'm 50 years old trying to deer hunt, I'm going to have a heart condition because of this. I don't need healthy enough for this. Oh, I might need to chill out on the tacos and Dr. Pepper after this I'm game. I'm going to need some salads. <laughs> My blood pressure is Jiminy. way too high for this. Man, I'm regretting eating those chili cheese Fritos before this one with all this yelling. I'm going to have a blood clot. I know, right? <laughs> 26.3 seconds left. Shot clock inactive. <sighs> and that it. And here comes the Panthers. Five on the floor, Rantham, Williamson, McCauley, McCutcheon, and Sawyer. My voice is going to be gone tomorrow. I will yeah. say that. It may be gone by the next game. I, if we have another overtime game, Jiminy, Christmas. If we have another overtime game, I won't make it. <laughs> All right, 26.3 left to go. Panthers have possession. Get it up the floor. Oh, two on three. McCutcheon gonna drive up. Shot, no good. No foul call, and Coach Will is livid. Oh, she lost the ball. Pants had the ball with 12 seconds left. And a foul. Oh, Time no, out, timeout. Will. 11 seconds on the dot. Timeout, but how much more can we take? I don't know, Jiminy Christmas. So, Panthers have possession. With 11 seconds, tie uh, game. If we go to into another overtime. overtime. All right, I, I didn't say I wanted the seven overtime game when Arkansas went into, you know, fourth and 29, the Hunter Henry heave. Oh, my You goodness. remember that? Yes, I do. That's what this turned into because we were down 23. We heaved it, and now we're in overtime. 11 seconds. Can we do it? Oh. What, what, what? what uh, you just uh, put up a heave? You should have put, they're going to, they're going to send it half court, aren't they? 
They're just gonna try not to let you get across half court. Oh, now they're telling him to get back. Ella's got time, a foul! A foul is called! 7.6. And all, all she has to do is make one to win at the moment. Jiminy Christmas, my heart condition's about to rise. Williamson's first shot is up and is no good. So she can only extend the lead to one with 7.6 left to go in double overtime. They put everybody back. Webb's second shot is up and it's good! 69-68. Seven seconds left. All we can do is, she lost, no foul. Oh, oh. my goodness. Yes, they, they did. They called a foul. They just called a foul on Brianna Rantham. If they miss, if they make one, they have to make both the win, one to tie. How many more of these are we going to have? All right, we, oh, Jiminy Christmas. We just cannot get out of this game. 69, Turn 68. the AC on. <laughs> Wait, we've got a referee. Okay, so we got two shots. Panther Gymnasium is getting loud. She's got a. She misses the first one. She has to make this one. If she misses it, this is the game. Here's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Up and no good. And that's the, the final double overtime. Game. Double overtime victory. A double overtime thriller. Panthers down 23 at one point. Come back to win it by one in double overtime. And I thought the Ohio State they, field they goal was crazy. crazy. Jaminy Christmas. That gives me like the two college football playoff games we've had. But uh, oh, man, I, I mean, I don't know what my heart was something. Look at this with the Ohio know. State field goal. Uh, all right, guys. Well, we got one more to go here at Panther Gymnasium. We got a senior boys game, but I got to get a snack and something to drink because I'm about to die over here. So we'll be right back uh, on another stream here with the senior boys game. We'll be right back with more after this double overtime thriller. Panthers win. 69-68. 